Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. It's time now to build the second slide in our presentation. And the slide that we're going to build is a meet the team slide. Now, a couple of things I need to consider before building this slide. I need to decide if I want to have the background exactly the same on each slide or if I want to switch that up. And I also need to think about the format of this meet the team slide. Do I want to show everybody who works at the company or do I just want to show the high level managers? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add three people, the three managers to our meet the team slide. And in this first lesson, I want to show you some of the techniques that I use for duplicating and reformatting existing slides in the presentation. Now, you might be thinking, what does she mean by that? Well, Slide one pretty much contains a lot of the features that I want to use in my meet the team slide, but I do want to make some minor changes. For example, I don't want it to say explore on my meet the team slide. I want it to say team instead. I also want to switch out this background image. So I no longer want this landscape image. I want something that represents the team a bit better. And of course, also, I need to switch out the text. Now, I could start from a blank slide again, but in general, I don't tend to do that. What I do is I duplicate the slide and then I just switch out the elements that I don't want for the elements that I do want on the new slide. So let's take a look at how we do this. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to just simply delete slide two because we don't need that. And the first thing we're going to do is duplicate slide one. So let's select it in the slides pane and control D to duplicate. Now, the first thing that I want to change here is the background image that's in use. And I've already saved off an image from Pexels, which you can find in the course files folder if you want to follow along with me. Now, this landscape image is right at the back. So in order to get to it, it's going to prove quite difficult because I have lots of other objects stacked on top. So again, this is where our selection pane can be really helpful. So let's jump up to shape format and turn on our selection pane. And what I'm basically going to do here is hide everything that's currently on top of this background image. So I pretty much want to hide most things on this slide, except that image in the background. So now I can get to it. I can select that image. Now, what I want to do here is simply switch out this image for an alternate one. So what we can do is click on the image, go up to picture format. And in the adjust group, notice that we have a change picture option. And we can choose to select an image from a file, from stock images, online, or from the icons library. Now, I've already saved off an image from the Pexels website, so I'm going to choose from file. And there is the image that I want to use, team background. Let's click on insert. So very quickly, I've just managed to switch out that current picture. I haven't had to insert a new one and delete the old one. Now, this image currently doesn't look exactly as I want it to look because it's slightly off center and we have quite a lot of space over on one side. So we're going to use our crop and fill technique again up to picture format into crop. And we're going to choose fill. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this image a bit larger by dragging these resize handles in the corner so we can pull this all the way out and then just move it around until we get it exactly in the position that we want. And I think I want this to be about there. Once we're happy, we can click the top half of the crop button to set that image. So really nice and simple. Let's see what this looks like with the green transparent overlay over the top. We're going to go to our selection pane and unhide transparent shape overlay. And you can see the effect that I'm getting there. Now, it might be at this stage, I think, actually, I want to change the color. I don't want to have this green color throughout the presentation. So once again, we can right click, go into format shape, and we can choose a different color. So let's take a look at some of these. That's not too bad. What about if we go for a lighter one? What does that look like? 
That's not too bad either. I might want to take that transparency down or up. I'm not too keen on the white, so let's go for a darker color. And I think we'll go with that. Let's close down our format shape pane. Let's bring back our footer and our company logo and our merged heading shape and see what that looks like. Well, it doesn't look too bad, but I don't think there's enough contrast between the header and footer and the actual background. So let's just make another minor adjustment. Let's go into format shape and we're going to choose a slightly darker black. Now, I think that looks a little bit better. Let's check what this looks like and unhide all of the other objects. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, the other thing that I want to do here is I want to switch out the text where it says explore for the word team. So once again, I'm going to hide the subtitle and the title so that I can work on this explore text. And this is just a simple case of selecting the text and replacing the word with team. Now, it might be that you need to adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to take this in because it is a slightly shorter word and we're going to move it over and try and get that in the center. And this is where your alignment guides can come in quite handy. So you can see I've got that red alignment guide to tell me that that's in the center and I can start to move it up and down until I see the other alignment guide. And I know that that's exactly in the center of the slide. Now let's unhide the subtitle and the title text because what I actually want here is I want a heading that says meet the team, but I don't need a subheading. So for this, I'm going to select subtitle text box and simply press the delete key. And for this text box, we're going to change the alignment to left align. And we're going to change the title just to say meet the team. Now, this is a little bit too large, so let's take that font size down. I'm going to use my decrease font size button just here. Remember, there is a shortcut key for that of control shift left arrow. So let's take it down a few points and then we can drag that into place. Now, because this is on the left, I can resize the text box to make that a bit easier to do. And I'm going to place that. Let's just put that somewhere around there. So with just a few different techniques, you can see there how it's really simple to duplicate a slide and then reformat that slide by switching out the picture, changing the text and using the selection pane to manage all of your objects. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.